Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I'm going to show you how you can dually link yokes. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. Here's the Cessna 172 panel. Here's the first hole and then I'm going to drill the second hole here. From outside to outside is about 20 inches. Uh, from middle to middle is about 18 and a half and then from inner to inner is about 17 and a half. For the base piece of wood, kind of, uh, we're going to make it 22 inches by 6 inches. So, let's get to the saw. I had this piece of scrap lying around and it's 24 inches. I'm just going to cut it down to 22. So we have our piece of wood right here, and we're going to put this aside for a little bit and get our chain. Right here I have a standard bicycle chain, uh, and then I 3D printed these two sprockets right here, and then these go right here. I want to cut these down to size with either a chain breaker or using the technique for people who want to save $5. So for this, you just get a nut, that's kind of for the hole, for the uh, pin to fall through, and then you get your chain and a punch, and then you basically just hammer it out. Ow. 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 I just find this slightly easier to do on a hard surface like concrete or stone or metal. Uh, it doesn't work very well with wood. For me, the chain didn't work out too well. It was like half a link or a link too sh too long, uh, so that's okay. I'll just move it over a little bit. That's why I didn't drill drill this hole yet. It's kind of up to you. Uh, my chain right here is about 47 inches, uh, so you'll want to make sure you have at least that much, uh, just for doing it. Now that I have my chain, I'm just going to tighten it or hammer these down. Here's our 22 by 6 inch thing uh, piece of wood. And now we have our two brackets that I 3D printed. These have a few purposes. One of them is to kind of act as in a way like a bearing I guess. Uh, one of the reasons is to make sure that this moves with the piece of wood and then another purpose is to make sure that there is adequate clearance with the chain. This is pretty ingenious if you ask me uh, because I designed it. Attention everyone! You're in the presence of a genius! Whoa. This design is basically an actual sprocket for a bike uh, and then I put a hole in it and then made these things so it wouldn't uh, catch or anything. So here's that. So right here we have our chain and then we're going to put it in the brackets now. Then temporarily we're going to put it with a pipe. Uh, just pull tight and then figure out where you want to drill your holes. Uh, I think one will be right here and the other one will be on the edge over here. So now I'm going to mark the holes. There's one right here. Okay, so now I can just take these pipes out. So now let's put the... Uh, so now just drill it. Now we'll put these back in, and hopefully we got the length right. As you can tell, when I rotate this 90 degrees, 
the other one rotates 90 degrees. So we have it most of the way done. We just need our supports in the back. I made these little supports right here. I basically just traced this and then put the hole right there. Um, so this goes right here and I'm going to use a 90 degree bracket to fix this. We'll see. So you'll want it to line up here and then just make a mark. Then that should be good and we'll just put it in. Okay, what this back support is do basically doing is it's making uh, instead of it's making it so that instead of uh, going like this, there's three points of pressure, I guess. Uh, so it goes like this, and it goes back and forth instead of side to side, because this is the pitch and roll axis, not the yaw axis. And now I'm just going to install the other one. Okay. Now they're all finished and you can go forward only pushing one or and you can go side to side. Isn't that cool? I swear this isn't photoshopped. Now I need to remeasure for the panel, the second hole I didn't drill. Uh, so this will be 19 and a quarter inches. Sorry, metric people. So now here is where my new center hole is going to be. Uh, and I'll just drill that. Here is it in action. It's not too smooth. Still need to tweak it, and also there's going to be one more connection back there. So, theoretically it should be better next time. But yeah, so here it is. It's all working. It will be tweaked more, but I just think it's fun. November 704, Darling Below, contact Denver Departure on 121.5, Squad 7600.